Seven, toxic habits. Helping your hand arthritis. Your hands have worked hard for your entire life. Whether you worked behind a ploy or behind a keyboard, eventually, the protective cartilage between your bones will start to wear down. This leads to a condition many older folks know all too well, arthritis. In fact, according to the CDC, about 50% of adults over 65 have arthritis. But while aging is inevitable, arthritis and its debilitating effects are not. In fact, there might be things you're doing every single day that are making your arthritis worse. In this video, we'll look at some of those habits that might be holding you and your holding abilities back. What causes arthritis in the hands? Arthritis in the hand primarily develops when cartilage, the slippery tissue that cushions our joints, deteriorates due to time, injury, or overuse. This causes the joints to become inflamed, leading to pain, stiffness, and reduced mobility. The two most common types of arthritis affecting the hands are osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis. The former occurs due to wear and tear, most often affecting the joints at the ends of the fingers and the base of the thumb. Over time, the cartilage tends to wear away, which means your bones are actually rubbing against each other instead. The resulting friction is what causes a never-ending cycle of pain and swelling. Rheumatoid arthritis, on the other hand, is an autoimmune condition where the body's immune system attacks the joint lining, causing inflammation. It often affects joints all over the body, with the hands being one of the more common and more painful examples. While the aging process plays a major role in arthritis, it's important to understand certain habits can accelerate its development and worsen your symptoms. Let's look at seven of the most damaging habits and how you can change them to protect your hands. One, smoking. If you needed another reason to quit smoking, here it is. The truth is that smoking tobacco can do all sorts of damage to your joints. While they might seem unrelated, nicotine in cigarettes actually narrows blood vessels, thus reducing the amount of oxygen and nutrients that can make their way to your cartilage. This accelerates the rate at which these much needed cushions disappear making your arthritis symptoms worse. But there's more to consider. Smoking also increases your risk of osteoporosis, which is where your bones become weak and brittle. This is a big deal for older folks, especially women. In fact, research suggests that smokers are up to 40% more likely to break their hips than non-smokers. Two, your diet. What you eat can have a big impact on how you feel. As it turns out, that includes how bad your arthritis is. Studies show that men and women who have diets that are high in sugar, red meat, processed foods, and unhealthy fats tend to suffer from increased levels of inflammation. So if you're the type to hit the drive through or snack on junk, you're only making your arthritis symptoms harder to control. On the other hand, Anti-inflammatory foods can help ease joint pain. Specifically, you're looking for foods that are rich in omega-3 fatty acids, like flaxseed oil, mackerel, and salmon. Leafy greens, nuts, and healthy oils like olive oil can also promote better joint health. And studies show that a diet high in beta-carotene, fiber, and magnesium can actually reduce inflammation across your entire body by limiting pro-inflammatory foods and incorporating more anti-inflammatory options, you can better manage your hand arthritis and reduce painful flare-ups. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for unlimited tips and tricks to staying young and healthy. Three, not moving enough. It might seem counterintuitive, but staying sedentary can actually make arthritis worse. This is just one of countless reasons why your doctor has been begging you to stay active since you hit your 50s. According to research, sitting for long periods of time leads to muscle stiffness and weakens the muscles that support your joints. This can increase joint pain and make everyday tasks more difficult. 
Those extra pounds aren't helping either, as they put extra strain on your joints. In fact, even losing just a little bit of weight can make a big difference. If you want to keep your joints in good shape, aim for 30 minutes of low impact exercise like walking or swimming, five days a week. The regular movement will help lubricate your joints and strengthen the muscles that support them. Four, moving too much. On the flip side, overworking your joints can also be detrimental. This is particularly true of over-exercisers who try to work out like they're still 25. Though it might seem like they're doing themselves a favor, the added stress on their joints can further enhance inflammation, worsening arthritis symptoms. The key is to find a balance. Aim for a reasonable combination of aerobic exercise and strength training to build muscle and support your joints. No matter how old you are, even lifting a five pound weight can make a difference. Five, carrying heavy objects. Speaking of lifting weights, you can't just go ham in the gym and expect to walk away feeling amazing. Soreness after the gym was fine in your 30s, but as an older adult, you're going to feel like your hands got run over by a truck. That's because heavy lifting puts a ton of strain on your joints, especially in your hands. So to protect them, always be aware of how much weight you're carrying and how you carry it. A good rule of thumb is that anything requiring more than one hand to lift should be left for the kids and grandkids. Six, not sleeping enough. It might surprise you to learn that sleep and joint pain are closely connected. If you're not getting enough rest, your arthritis symptoms may worsen and the pain may make it harder to fall asleep at night, thus creating a vicious circle. In fact, around 70% of people with osteoarthritis report experiencing sleep disturbances. To improve your sleep, do your best to stick to a regular exercise routine. If you don't notice a difference, talk to your doctor about medications or other conditions, such as sleep apnea, that may be interfering with your rest. Seven texting. Too much phone use among people over 60 is higher than ever. Even people in their 80s and 90s are finding themselves addicted to texting and surfing social media. However, constantly texting or typing on your phone can aggravate the joints in your hands, leading to inflammation of the joints and tendon sheaths. To give your hands a break, try using the speech to text function on your phone or taking frequent breaks to stretch your fingers and hands. This can help prevent overuse and give your joints the rest they need to avoid aggravating your arthritis. Living with arthritis can be challenging, but by avoiding these seven toxic habits, you can reduce your pain and protect your joints. As we've shown simple lifestyle changes, like quitting smoking, eating an anti-inflammatory diet, exercising regularly, but not overdoing it, and giving your hands a break from heavy lifting or constant texting can make a big difference in managing arthritis symptoms. Additionally, consider using heat or cold therapy for relief, taking over-the-counter pain medication as needed, or using a splint to stabilize your joints. As always, make sure you consult with your doctor about the best ways to manage your arthritis and protect your joint health. Please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed this video. We are constantly putting out fun videos on everything related to wellness. Please remember, this video is meant for educational purposes and is not medical advice.